यहाँ पे प्लेइंग इलेवन चुनना आपके लिए गुड हेड है चैलेंजिंग है देखिए किसी भी टेस्ट मैच में इंडिया में प्लेइंग इलेवन चुनना हेडेक ही है बिकॉज जितना टैलेंट है हमारे पास चाहे वो डोमेस्टिक क्रिकेट हो चाहे वो इंटरनेशनल क्रिकेट हो तो ऐसा नहीं है कि सिर्फ इधर ही चैलेंज रहेगा और एक अच्छा चैलेंज है इनफैक्ट जब आपके पास अच्छा टैलेंट आ रहा होता है और जब कंपटीशन होता है प्लेसेस के लिए तो इट्स ऑलवेज गुड इसका मतलब ये है कि इंडियन क्रिकेट एक अच्छे एक स्ट्रॉन्ग फाउंडेशन में और एक अच्छे स्तर पर है तो मेरा मानना है कि ऐसा कुछ डिफरेंट नहीं होगा कि पुणे में मुश्किल होगा या बाकी जगह मुश्किल नहीं होता हर जगह ही मुश्किल होता है पाकिस्तान में जैसे हुआ ऑस्ट्रेलिया को विमेंस वर्ल्ड कप में झटका लगा हमें फोर्टी सिक्स पे ऑमट हो गए तो ये क्या है क्रिकेट आपके लिए क्योंकि हर बार हमें लगता है कि हम जानते हैं लेकिन नया रन सामने आता है नहीं तभी हम क्रिकेट को एक बहुत बड़ा लेवरल कहते हैं स्पोर्ट्स को एक बहुत बड़ा लेवरल कहते हैं क्योंकि अगर आप ऐसे दिन एंजॉय करते हो जैसे दिन हमारे कानपुर में तो फिर आपको ऐसे दिन भी एक्सेप्ट करने पड़ेंगे जैसे हमारे दिन बैंगलोर में थे लेकिन अच्छी चीज़ ये थी कि 46 ऑल आउट होने के बावजूद वी वर स्टिल लुकिंग टू विन द टेस्ट मैच वो इंपॉर्टेंट था और इसी तरीके की हम क्रिकेट खेलना चाहते हैं मैंने पहले भी कहा था कि हमारी फर्स्ट ऑप्शन हमेशा जीतना रहेगी और सेकंड ऑप्शन ड्रॉ होगी तो अगर आप देखिए सेकंड इनिंग में भी कि कोई ऐसी इंटेंशन नहीं थी कि हम ढाई दिन खेलने को देख रहे थे हम यही सोच रहे थे कि किस तरीके से मैच बना सके और इनफैक्ट अगर आप मुझसे पूछे तो शायद हम सौ रन दूर थे मैच बनाने के लिए तो मुझे नहीं लगता कि बहुत सारी टीम्स ऐसी होंगी जो फोर्टी के बाद भी इस तरीके से सोच रही होगी जब आपको ढाई दिन से ज़्यादा बैटिंग करनी है बट यही क्वालिटी और इसी तरीके की क्रिकेट हम आगे भी खेलना चाहते हैं कुछ देर आज में लॉर्ड ऑफ स्टूडेंट इन क्रिटिसिज्म अराउंड द के एल राहुल स्पेशली बाय फॉर्मर क्रिटिसिज्म एंड ऑन सोशल मीडिया एज़ वेल हाउ आर यू लुकिंग एट के एल राहुल्स फॉर्म एंड एंड स्पेशली हाउ इज दिस इंडियन टीम मैनेजमेंट लुकिंग टू और और डीलिंग विद प्लेयर्स व्हाइल गोइंग टू सच क्रिटिसिज्म ऑफ फॉर द फॉर्म सी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सोशल मीडिया डज नॉट मैटर वन बिट यू डोंट पिक प्लेयर्स ऑन सोशल मीडिया बिकॉज़ ऑफ सोशल मीडिया ऑफ दैट मैटर इवन व्हाट द एक्सपर्ट्स आर सेइंग व्हाट द टीम मैनेजमेंट थिंक्स एंड व्हाट the leadership group thinks is very very important ultimately everyone is judged international cricket is all about being judged to be honest because everyone's performance will be judged, judged eventually but i feel that he's batting really well obviously he's uh, he's had a decent knock in kanpur obviously on a difficult wicket and obviously he played according to the plans as well and i'm sure i think he would also be knowing that he he wants to score big runs and he has that capability of scoring runs that's why he's been backed by the team management got a few batted seven in the finals in the year this year this match in cape town in 2010 on the last day from there in the 15 years the way the game has changed and now saving the test match is almost an afterthought like you said the first uh, priority is winning how do you see this progression of uh, the test cricket has see to certain extent it's good because see when i batted in napier obviously there was no t20 format at that time or probably the t20 format was just introduced and now with so much of t20 cricket around and you expect players to be more aggressive and the t- uh, the game has changed the game has moved on and we have to accept that as well that yes we will need a lot of temperament and a lot of mental toughness to bat for 2 to 2 and a half days but again if the decision of a leadership group or the team management is to just go there and still try to win the game i think uh, that is what is very important the messaging has to be very clear probably had we decided to bat 2 and a half days probably the guys would have batted much differently but the intention was always to make the game out of it irrespective of where we are how much behind we are of the game but for me i think it's always good because draws are boring uh, results are always important results are always fun but if we can keep taking the game forward it's going to be always great fun but yes i think with t20 cricket around i think uh, it'll be difficult to see a lot of draws in future as well So yesterday you and Rohit had a closer look at the strip, and even in, uh, this morning. So how are you expecting the pitch to play out? And uh, so from uh, from the Commonwealth Games, cricket has been dropped in several other sports. So how much of a blow it is? See, first of all, I tell you, I think there is no one in this world who can predict how the wickets going to behave. To be very honest, no one can. Yes, we want. Uh, we feel that I think uh, wickets going to be a typical Indian wicket, and we back our bowlers to do the job, and we back our. batters to get runs on this wicket as well but again i think till the uh, till the time the game is not started we can't predict how the games wicket is going to behave until the time both the teams have been batted on this wicket we can't expect uh, predict anything either see that is not up to me to honestly answer that question or how can i answer that question if it's been removed from commonwealth to be honest i think my job is to probably uh, think about what's going to happen tomorrow sir uh, aap shubman ji ko ek shubman ji ne incoming kiya hai to aur washington sundar bhi incoming ke liye uh, bola ja raha hai तो आप कौन से प्लेयर को रिप्लेस मतलब करने वाले हैं या बॉलिंग बॉलर्स को ज़्यादा गिराने वाले हैं या बैटर्स को देखिए शुभमन गिल गिल अंदर नहीं आए शुभमन गिल पिछले मैच में इंजर्ड थे ऐसा नहीं था कि वो टीम में नए आए हैं बिकॉज सिर्फ इंजरी के चलते वो पिछला मैच नहीं खेले थे उनके जो नेक में इशू 
तो ऑब्वियसली जिस तरीके की उनकी परफॉर्मेंस रही है बांग्लादेश के अगेंस्ट ऑब्वियसली वो वापस प्लेइंग इलेवन में आएंगे बाकी प्लेइंग इलेवन अभी डिसाइड नहीं हुआ है प्लेइंग इलेवन कल सुबह देख के डिसाइड करेंगे कि किस तरीके के कॉम्बिनेशन के साथ हम जाना चाहते हैं अल्टीमेटली जो भी कॉम्बिनेशन के साथ जाएंगे वो ये इस तरीके से जाएंगे कि हम ये टेस्ट मैच जीत सकें four or five left handers in the playing 11 as well that if we want to have another uh, bowler who can take the ball away from the left handers uh, it is always going to be useful for us as well but we haven't still decided that what's going to be a playing 11 we uh, we believe that probably the two uh, opening batters in uh, the middle order left hander batter rachin and so we feel that if uh, washi can give us more control in the middle it's always going to be uh, good for us there are three factors this particular series or this particular match and we are also looking at the world chat this strategy and also clear for going to play in australia give them some game time so how do you manage no we are not even thinking of giving anyone game time all we are concentrating on are these two test matches and these two test matches are very very important to us as important as any other test match be it in india or in australia so the focus right now is absolutely against new zealand and we don't want to change that focus or shift that focus to australia i know there'll be a lot of hype around the australia series but when you're playing for your country every test match is an honor to represent the country and it is equally important you have told me you played batter number 3 what kind of value you want to build in number 3 there is kind of batter in the top 5 test match so obviously runs are important and i feel that the number 3 i don't want to compare what is the difference in number 3 and opening the batting i think all the top 3 are equally important because they will have to probably uh, face the most difficult conditions for example if you see the last game as well that uh, there were difficult conditions especially on day 1 so if someone can bat at number 3 and can keep getting runs consistently it gets much easier for the middle order batters as well but again i think it is a job of all the top 6 or 7 to get runs but yes if he's among the runs it obviously gives us a lot of probably leverage that uh, for a middle order to go out there and express themselves even more the way they want see first of all obviously we've got once the series is over we still have what around 10 or 12 days before the test starts in australia so that's enough break for our fast bowlers as well but we will still monitor after this test match where jaspreet bumrah is but it's not only about jaspreet bumrah it's about with all the fast bowlers as well we want to keep them fresh we know that obviously we've got a long tour and an important tour of australia but uh, workload management will definitely depend on how what the outcome of this test match is and how much have they bowled in this test match the second question i've already answered washington sundar purely because he's a quality player uh, we know that what he brings on the table is just if if he play if he plays tomorrow obviously he brings a completely different dimension he bring, brings control for us and obviously he can bat in the low middle order as well so it is all about taking the ball away if we want to but we still have another aksar in and we've got a wrist spinner and kuldeep in as well so we will see tomorrow morning how the wicket is and then take a call that uh, who's got to be our third seamer and uh, then decide whether the guys can take 20 wickets i just want to come from the south of pakistan and keep yesterday Absolutely. I think he's going to keep wickets tomorrow. No other fitness concern. No other fitness concern.